it's cold. You know that I've done all my American adventures with my Jeep Yuki in the States and what that entails. But we're in a whole new ball game here in England. It's much different and much harder to do overlanding and off-roading. Is it even a thing here? The answer is not really, but with a little digging and stealth, I think that we can do it. It might not be entirely, I don't know, if it's legal or not, but we're gonna do this. I'm gonna do it. Everything in England is just like owned by somebody in regards to land, but we're gonna find some places that we can drive on that we're not supposed to drive on. I could make this adventure look really challenging and epic and, and intimidating. In reality, we are in England, and this is my first time overlanding, off-roading with Tanku, this Jeep. So we don't want to do anything that's too crazy. There's more problems underneath Tanku. We thought fixing the wheel bearing and control arms might fix all the rattling, but it didn't. And it's because it has been lifted, but not properly. So it is a reliable Jeep. I go on and on about Jeep's reliability, and it is. It's just... You know, there's cause and effect with all these things. So and we're still gonna do adventuring and stupid things anyways because we can't fix everything all at once. It's too expensive and too hard. We could break Tanku in half on this grisly trail out in the wilderness of Surrey, England. Just kidding. I don't think we'll break in half, but uh, we might get stuck in the mud. I mean, stay tuned for more Jeep repairs if that's what you're into. In the meantime, we're not gonna let that stop us for using this Jeep for what it was meant to do. Off-roading and overlanding in the cold. There's another trail that I wanted to do that was completely blocked off, so we drove all the way out here. I don't know where we're at, but there's this app. I'll put it right here that we're using. And we're gonna see if we can actually do this. There's a couple different trails here, don't know which to go down. I have no idea what to expect. Um, I've, like I said, this is the first time off-roading over landing, whatever you wanna call this, in Tanku in England. So you're gonna experience this with me for the first time. <laughs> let's go. All right, let's begin. So we're gonna choose the trail. I'm not sure exactly which one it is. I'm not really uh, trained in this, so we're just gonna wing it as usual. Is it trail one? Is it trail two? Is it trail three? We have no effing idea. We're gonna try trail number dos. Here we go. And as you can see, this is mud, mate. This is mud and potholes and scratchies on the sides. I'm just gonna narrate this whole process. <laughs> Hear the clunking? Still there. Still there. Didn't fix anything. <laughs> and in case you're wondering, it's the prop shaft that needs repaired now, so that's fun. I'm still not used to driving this thing. We shall see what it turns into. Right, so we are getting into some mud. This could be bad. <laughs> Pretty these colors are though. Trouble. It's making a big squeaking noise. It just started right now. This could be bad. All right, so this is the sound that it's making. It is not good. Now, the adventure is to get this back without it falling apart. Cause like, what is that? This is terrifying. Um, we're just gonna keep going forward cause that's all we can do. Uh, but we have a huge, pond up here that we need to drive through and with these types of puzzles you never know how deep they are so please don't get stuck because we do not have any way to pull this thing out oh god should we measure how deep that is first i'm scared are you sure can we go fast slow ah! oh my god oh my god oh my god oh my god That gave me a heart attack. That halfway, that was like half, that half, oh. We fully submerged there, folks. Mm. The squeaking went away. 
<laughs> we wash that right on out. My heart is pounding. We are in pure mud. It's just sliding mud. A lot of potholes. Oh, wait. I just want to get off this road, to be honest. That's what it's made for, right? That's what it's made for. And I'm so glad that that squeaking stopped. Must have been some sort of rock stuck in the wheel. Although we're not camping out here and we're just like using the trail for the overlanding, I still have to pee somewhere. So, <laughs> but this is so gorgeous. It's cold, but like, these views. are the moments that um, really teach you your limits and what you can, are capable of doing. If it were any deeper than that, we'd be in trouble, honestly. It was like a pond. You need like a snorkel for that type of stuff, but you never know what's going to be on these trails, which is why I do not go out unprepared like, like I'm doing. <laughs> As I was driving, there's kind of like this noise that's happening now. It's kind of like, I don't really know how to explain it, but it's like on the left side, but it kind of feels like... Ugh. We accomplished a trail, which was great and wonderful and exhilarating, but this could be something to do with how high the water was that we went through. So hopefully it's not like uh, severe damage. We found this little roadside tea place. That's really cute. So we're gonna get some tea. But I also wanna show you the new, the boots that I got for like this freezing weather. They're waterproof. I don't really like them, but I needed to show them cause they're kind of pricey, so. <laughs> it's gonna get cold. I need to keep my feet warm, but let's go get some tea while Tanku cools down. We don't know what it is that was making that noise, but hopefully it just goes away like the screeching. <laughs> it's kind of like what you just need to hope for in these types of Jeeps. I need clunks and noises. You're like, oh, maybe it'll go away. We're randomly parked in this parking lot, but it's also a viewage point, so that's real nice. It healed itself. This Jeep don't last 20, what, seven years? just breaking, you know, it heals itself. If this whole video looks really gloomy, that's because it is, because we're in England and it's gloomy here. We're at Waverly Abbey, which is one of the first or first monk, Cistercian monk, not Cistercian, Cistercian. I don't even know what that means. Some sort of Catholic thing. So we're gonna go visit the ruins of that. Thank you is doing great. We also just cleaned it the other day and it just got all muddy again. This is very cool. So this is the abbey. It was born, it was built in the 1130s. So it's almost 900 years old. You can't find anything like this in America. It's one nice thing about England. It's a little gloomy, but there's so much history and architecture and you just walk in here and see history right in person. Absolutely insane. Look at this. This is amazing. So this used to be a monk dormitory right here. cold and my fingers hurt. 
gotta get some soup. Need soup. It's hard to get motivation whenever it's this cold, and I'm sure you guys all understand because it's winter now. To go out and do things and do adventures and things like that it takes extra motivation. It's fun just to go out and explore and find things though. And at the end of the day, it feels like you've done something, but we're gonna go try and find some fun. I'm starving. I'm absolutely starving. I'm so hungry. And it's cold in here. And one thing about, I don't know, England that I've found kind of in general is that they don't heat their places properly. Like, it's just a thing. I don't know why, but it's very hard to get warm here. Anyways, I got some, some vegan pho. We're just gonna eat this. It's gonna be delicious. Not every adventure has to be crazy, but it's important to stay in momentum, to keep learning and to try new things. I hope my little videos inspire you in any type of way. And as always, thank you for watching and stay extraterrestrial.